Either are you sick of getting stuck in fake out instead of real breakout each and every time you enter a trade? Well, if so, in today's video, I will show you a way to find the great breakouts even before they happen. See you there. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pierre. I'm the head of trading and mentor at PAFX. Uh, each and every week I try to upload a video on this channel to try and help out new traders finding the, their way in this trading jungle. So if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, bell to get notification each and every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you liked uh, today's video, do not forget to hit that like button for me. So let's dig in. Well, I think uh, each and every one of you been there, done that, uh, got stuck in a fake out trade. You uh, seeing the market uh, making a breakout and you don't want to miss the momentum or you don't want to miss the move and you hit the buy or sell button and you enter the trade to then see the market reversing on you. And uh, trust me, that is so uh, common that uh, it's happened like more than maybe 70% of the times you uh, get stuck in a fake out instead uh, just because you've been in a rush you're not waiting uh, you probably did not uh, do your homework on the planning and the top-down analysis so that's what I felt that uh, it's maybe good for uh, many traders to uh, have a way to trade uh, breakouts uh, in a more safer way. Today we're going to talk about one strategy. There is uh, much uh, more ways to uh, do breakout trading than what we're going to talk about today. Probably in uh, upcoming videos we will uh, cover those as well. That's why I said uh, be sure to subscribe guys so you can get notification uh, next time I do a video like this. So what happened uh, here and why we took uh, this trade we're gonna talk about that and uh, before that i will just show you what i mean by uh, fake out trades so you uh, look at a market like this uh, it's been in a range and um, yeah you either been trading the range until a breakouts happen or you waiting for the breakout to happen to take the trade so uh, in this case this is the range we have on this market here as you see and uh, you see that the market is uh, pushing nicely uh, moving up uh, to um, to the um, edge of the range and you want to trade this market there we go the first candle we had uh, that broke out here was uh, this candle uh, here not really the breakout above all the highs but if we take a look at the next candle this one here here we have uh, a real uh, breakout for now so the market did break out of this if you're trading on a limit order your your limit order probably already triggered because many traders uh, do put a limit order above uh, the range with a stop loss um, below the, the bottom of the range or uh, depends on ho how wide it is or depends on the structure or your uh, stop loss rules but anyway you enter the trade here on uh, the breakout either on the um, at a limit order or you open a trade when you see the one hour candle did uh, basically close above the range there is uh, other traders that wait for uh, a confirmation candle which means they wait for one more candle to close outside of um, outside of the breakout area and that is one candle outside of the breakout so even if you want to play it safe you had your candle here so you go long and uh, you wait for the market to keep pushing to the upside and this what happens and this keep happening many many times as i told you and as we see here the market moved all the way back so even if you had your stop loss down here you've been uh, stopped out on this uh, trade so uh, 
that is one of the reason I don't like to trade out, uh, uh, to trade the breakout uh, in this way. And uh, because I've done that so many times and I burned my finger so many times. So what happened uh, in USD CAD uh, and why we took that uh, breakout trade, even uh, if it was not safe to trade. If we take a look at uh, what I um, published in our uh, trading room here uh, on uh, last Wednesday, I told my traders, if you like breakout trading, if you like breakout trading, be ready here. It's failed to break daily pivot twice. If the risk of sentiment really kicks in, then this will break up. So what I meant by uh, this um, uh, here, we saw that uh, USD CAD did reach this area here, start making a range, failed to break lower and um, the day after we saw the USD CAD um, holding higher lows. So if we go to the live chart here and uh, we talk about more in details, we go to the daily time frame. We knew that uh, this market been moving to the downside strongly. Then when we reach this area, we start uh, seeing the uh, USD CAD moving to the upside. So if you're following me here on uh, YouTube, you know that I've been saying that after this breakout, guys, we are looking for potential retest and continuation. Well, we did not have that retest and continuation. The market kept pushing lower and we were looking for this area as a potential support. So it got broken slightly to then the market go back inside here and start moving um, sideways. So when we go down to the one hour time frame, we see that the market start to slowing down here, tried to break, couldn't make it another day here, couldn't break to the downside. And the really the real reason that I want you to look at and the, the main idea behind this breakout strategy is seeing the market holding near the highs for a very long period of time here. Keep holding the, the near the highs. Uh, the lows are getting higher each and every time, as you see here. And then another day came and the market kept hovering near the high. So this is really what I do like to see to trade a breakout when the market is ranging like this and we start seeing the price hovering near the highs of the range. That is most of the time a clear signal of a breakout that gonna happen. So looking at these uh, arrows here and if we take off this uh, for now, we see that this market after a um, very long period of time in a consolidation, like three days, three, four days, we had the market keeping the highs like this with higher lows. That was a clear signal once again that a breakout is about to happen and that gonna be with a strong momentum. So that's why we took the trade and uh, we've got a very, very nice push to the upside. Target was of course, previous market structure, which was up here and up here. And um, it did reach target uh, very easily because it'd been ranging for a so long time. So when that happened, when you have a market ranging like three, four days in a narrow range like this, the breakout most of the time gonna be a strong momentum breakout, a quick trade. And as you saw here, the market did move a lot uh, from uh, the breakout area all the way to target. So is there any other way to enter uh, such a trade? Yes, there is. And that is waiting for the breakout to happen to then look for a retest and continuation. But keep in mind when the market again been trading in a narrow range like this and then it gets even narrower like this in a couple of days, the retest most of the time will not happen in that same day because the market will be pushing strongly to the upside. So to wait for a, that retest that may happen next week, though, to waiting all the way for this retest to then look for a continuation. OK, so the main elements here, you wait for those lower uh, uh, in this case uh, the the lows to get higher 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 all the time especially that you want to see the market hovering near the highs of that range as we had in this area here 
Okay, another example uh, we have here um, on New Zealand Jappy. This is the, uh, the same scenario, guys. We saw this market going inside this range here at first. And then if we extend it, we see that the range uh, got a little bit extended. The same scenario here, the market start giving you higher lows, higher lows, hovering near the highs. And then before the breakout, you've got this a very narrow range at the highs. So that was yet another great example of a potential uh, breakout to come. And uh, if we look at this, it is exactly the same pattern as we have on the USD CAD. Here you have the range, the, the lows are getting higher, then you get a smaller range near the top of the breakout area. And that was exactly the same and this market kept pushing to the upside from here. It even gave you a nice retest if you missed that to then look for a continuation move, yeah? And uh, again, this uh, is uh, one of the best breakout strategy I like to use. And if this would be to the downside, it would, be, uh, it would uh, work the same. You wait for those lower highs instead. You wait for the price to start hovering near the lows of the range for a while to then expect that breakout to happen. And uh, for entries, uh, stop loss uh, and uh, target, of course, that is for another vid video. Otherwise, this one will be uh, very long, but I have both an article for you on my uh, page and a video over here on the on the channel. I will put the link in the um, in this video up in the corner or in the dis description uh, down below the video. You can watch those. So yeah, guys, that was it for uh, today's video. I hope you like it. And if you did, do not forget to hit that like button, please. Uh, it helps uh, this channel a lot. Thank you. See you next week. Bye bye.